Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, so welcome to today's conversation. I give you an honor. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Yang Bei Chen, the curator of the exhibition A Moon Rat in Brown Paper, which is still going on, uh, is ongoing in Prada Rongjai. And we are very happy to have Natalie Hans online. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Hans. Hi. And uh, we have two guests on site too. Uh, uh, they are Lu Yang and Oscar. Hi, Lu Yang. Hi. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Jia Jun. So let's get into the today's <laughs> topic. The title of this talk is also from uh, Carol Ann Duffy's uh, poetry, Valen Valentine. Actually, it's the, the previous sentence of a, a moon rat in brown paper. So uh, here's the first question for Natalie Hans. The poem Valentine reads tenderly, with, uh, but with certain sadness. Um, that, does it somehow echo with your expressions. I think many audience would like to know why we named the exhibition a moon rat in brown paper. Uh, yes, so uh, we really love that poem. And we think that it fits very close to our work because it's describing something beautiful, which is love, but yes. not just talking about the beauty of love, but actually talking about how hard and difficult and complex love can be describing it instead of as a fussy pink heart instead describing it as an onion and i think that most of us that is how we experience love and with love i think we could even say life or being human because to love is to be human we love so much and sometimes we narrow it down uh, but it doesn't just go with the love to a lover or to a parent, but it goes to loving friends and loving yes. the situation that you're in. And it's such a complex, complex thing being a human. And um, we wanted, we took this title because we thought it described it very well. And in our work and in, in our art, uh, we often show the difficulty of being human, the, the not easy part. Uh, and that is what we thought of this exhibition to be, almost like going through the rings of an onion, go ever deeper to explore our own feelings and our own psyche and emotional life. And that was, so we wanted to build it up sort of as an onion through layer and layer, like peeling off something in yourself and going deeper and deeper. Um, so to find beauty even through the pain and even having pain sort of emphasizing the beauty in something, that if everything was always perfect, we wouldn't discover the true beauty or courage or love of the world around us. Well, I guess uh, the the whole poem and the onion idea comes comes along with um, yeah the concept of peeling off layers yes. and going deeper and deeper, and that also yeah. comes yeah that's the concept of the exhibition, as Natalie said. Like yes. uh, it, it's it's common theme with our work. Yes, it's like a journey into deep of your heart. Yeah, something like that. Yes. It's an em emotional journey. And uh, now I would like to invite Lu Yang and uh, Oscar to share your like first impressions and the interpretations about the exhibition. <laughs> I really hope to hear like different opinions from different uh, like fields. Uh, as like a filmmaker and a visual artist, I suppose you both uh, found something related to your own practice from this exhibition, please. And the first time I, uh, yeah, I, I saw many uh, handmade, like a handmade feeling sculpture. And uh, also I found out Natalie and Hans made, made quite many short films. And those kind of short films bring me to like some dark fairy tales feeling. Yeah, this is my first uh, uh, experience from, from their work. 
and related with my own practice. I think I, I, I'm using totally different kind of tools, but um, some main core is maybe we have some same feelings or some uh, about those kind of stop motion or animation. Oscar? Uh, so my first impression uh, for this exhibition is that uh, the marriage between your work and this space of uh, this 1918s mansion, uh, Rongjai, which was uh, built by the explorers of Shanghai at the time. Um, I found it very interesting because uh, it was an era filled with material desire in this city and, and it's filled with pursuing modernity and modernization uh, of the time. And somehow, uh, your work, all these um, clay flowers and the monsters and, and these maze like images, uh, they kind of uh, feel like they had been dwelling in this cave like space for, for a long time. And uh, it's very interesting because um, this enhanced my kind of fantasy experience uh, um, viewing, viewing your work this time.